Right, welcome back. I'm at Giviru sublocation. This is Nyeri town constituency. This is Nyeri county. So, niko na shida kidogo. Nataka ku report hapa kwa police station. But just to give you some context, you know today the acting inspector general Masengeli refused to turn up in court and even uh, attempted to interfere with court process with a lot of impunity and uh, refused to honor court orders which is a very big impunity because mimi ni samoniwe na court sahi I go by running otherwise watanipiga contempt of court ama warrant of arrest lakini ya anaitwa kotini he believes he's above the law so tumekuja kuona zile police stations zenye anasimamia to report hiyo maneno so this is Giviru police station it was built under NGCDF can come uh, uh, Giviru police post it was built under NGCDF for financial year 2019-2020. Uja, wakuja tuwane polisi, tu report yo manene. What? Are you in general? Guys, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So guys, umasikia hii fresh inasema ngo usiguze mrima kata si wa baba very own deputy pre, eh? vice president. And apparently hii usiguze mrima you know it's it's a lot but let's talk about what Kebaso was saying yesterday apparently Kebaso was saying that usiguze mrima means that don't tamper with evidence a play, you know we are now going to talk about a place called Gidin, Gidiru and uh, in the financial year of 2018 and 2019 a police post or rather station was built complete with the OB area OCS office Amari and even a cell complete with the any your police station when you know you know you understand our pol the paintings of a police a police uh, station and uh, the police station is by the if you see that police station it's very beautiful it's 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 precious it's it's a good place i just don't know why it is not it is not occupied i don't know why it has no aina askari aina there's nothing there's nothing no no one has been deployed to that place as far as policemen are concerned so my question is can morara kevaso go and find out if the people being paid katasi of that police station kama kuna askari wanalipwa hata wanafanya kazi hapo kama kuna mausiesa analipwa eti anafanya kazi hapo kama kuna tu amount of money that is allocated to that area courtesy of um, like operational work like zile vitu zinafanyika you know money has to be allocated to police station so is this particular police station has it been allocated money kuna pesa imewekwa hapo na kama imewekwa hiyo pesa inaendanga kwa nani because i don't think a police station is jengwa for nothing because I've I've come to realize that this government doesn't put its money where it is not gaining. So what exactly is going on? A police station after kujengwa, then what happened? Is it because the area there awatu awaitaji police station? Or na kama watu hawaitaji police station, why was it built? Mbona ili jengwa? Na kama watu wanaitaji police station, mbona haina watu? is the that area is even secure like is it uh, iko na usalama paka extent ya kwamba police station ijae kwa watu because i feel like there's so much that we can ask from this particular thing or this particular project that is actually finished but it has not been it is not operational that's the word it is not operational so it's really devastating it's really 
you know, these are billions of money going down the drain. And nobody is, is you know, I, I'm, I'm really baffled. Let me just say this. I'm really baffled on how Kenya, things just happen. I love when things happen. We cannot really question. And even if we question, we'll never get answers. Even people will die. People will be dumped. People in mass. And we will never, ever know what really happened. And it's a country where you can never get, never get answers to your questions. You know? It, and it's really hurting. It's really devastating. So, what when you or the people who, who did that project, can they please come forward and tell us why this police station was built yet aiko operational? Na kama walikuwa na area hiyo area I need what I need such an a structure or such a, a project mbona walijenga hapo how much money was allocated for this police station na kuna watu wanalipwa courtesy of ghost workers or ghost policemen I don't know how to ghost they are, of course they got something because I don't think this project was actually built and nobody ate or nobody is eating from it or nobody is gaining from it. Money is being siphoned. Pole pole too. And it's really saddening. So we go to again to Dedan Kimathi University. On 6th of August of 2022, Uhuru and Mutahi Kaugwe went to Dedan Kimathi University. Now we the Dedan Kimathi University Cancer Management Center to handle 150 cancer cases to cater for Nyeri, Muranga, Kirinyaga, Isiolo, but there's nothing should to show for it except a plague. There were things, like it's like tombstones. None of the people who have been able to do it with a black tombstone or whatever color it is. That is what is there. This is what we have about the Dedan Kimathi University Cancer Management Center. Nothing was built, but just the plague. And it's really saddening because this is something that ate money. This is something that siphoned money from our pockets, you know, in the name of tax. So what's going on? What is going on? You know, I, I just feel like we should reach a point and just accept that you can't keep eating money. You can't keep eating money. You can't keep I don't know. Then we go to Marwa Market. Marwa Market is another severe crime scene. The, the, the county government of Nyeri launched this market that you, literally looks like a parking, like a parking lot or a parking whatever, you know. This, you know, you could see Morara Kewaso Akimesha Iyo Ninim, Iyo, Iyo, market na migu yake and that has nothing to do like it it can never be a market because a market is where by this massive selling and buying this massive activities there's so many things happening and that that space cannot occupy such activities so i'm just wondering e, e county government because apparently it is the county government that launched this this um this project what was the idea? And it really hurts when you know that it is a woman who actually launched this project. A lady who goes by someone Mudoni is the person who actually launched this project. You are a woman. I'm not saying women should go out there to the market and sell. No, but we are still the people who go to these markets to buy. We are the we we are the majority of women who go out there selling things in markets. You know, let's face the reality. So the fact that you are a woman, yet you cannot even deliver to your fellow woman it's just sickening like what is going on Muthoni? just wake up and smell the coffee and just tell us how <laughs> how that that structure can be a market that's all i can say there's also near a stadium called runingu stadium you know in you know and it was launched in 2017 so guys about this stadium I remember there's a time I told you in another video that there was a stadium in uh, Nyeri. Apparently, Io Stadium at uh, Ruto did not even say its name. So I didn't know its name until today. So it's Ruringu Stadium. Walitenga Wakapanga, 280 million. Alaf the contractor was already had already been paid 
260 million. That is like 90% of the total amount, but nothing to show for it. Like there's nothing that is showing that millions was actually used or was spent or was uh, disbursed on this project. And it's very, very heartening, you know? It's because there's any akuna to evidence, huh? Alafu e market in a in a in a part na affordable affordable housing <laughs> guys. Yani it's theft after theft. Yani ma 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 nini mashamba tu zimetengwa kwa sababu ya wizi. Ma, ma, shamba hii inatengwa the next one inatengwa for another wizi another wizi. Yani Kenya <laughs> Kenya is I don't know. You know, and I feel like this, okay, I feel like we should just wake up, smell the coffee, and just do something about our country because our leaders have already collected enough money, uh, stacked it in, a, in a banks or, or investments abroad. They have, their kids are learning abroad. Uh, their fam other families are abroad. Maybe at our new Pekia, we in Nairobi or we in Kenya. So they have places to go. But as we do not have, this is the only place we know. This is home for us. So they will do anything they want to do with us because eventually they have a place to go. So let us just, if if by any chance we get to 2027, man, we better make good choices because kime turambo. Kama ni kurambo, tumerambo. There's another one that goes by Dunguma Market. A 3.5 million project and and it has no difference with the it has no difference with the other market that i've told you the marwa market the difference is that dunguma market is a little bit smaller but the three the, any the money that has been used there has nothing any i know anything on that on that project you know 3.5 does not equate to what is built on that space it's another parking lot but a little bit smaller. So all I want to understand is, is, uh, is really the government there for us or is it there to feed its stomach, to, to, to feel its uh, greed and just to leave us there starving because the people cannot even afford food. There are people who are, have uh, closed their business courtesy of high taxation. There are people who are actually crying because they are lacking things things like medication people who have those uh, terminal diseases people who have kidney failures people who are actually going through real problems but our people our leaders are here stacking themselves with money stacking them aside in other countries buying l houses in dubai i hear that's where they go nowadays to buy houses and just just to facilitate their future because morana kevaso was saying that these politicians have actually they are uh, i don't know if they are emulating this behavior from the, the American forefathers, where they will extract minerals, exploit po exploitation of the population, and domination of the poor. So they want to take everything. They want to take everything from us. They want to, they want to literally, it's like sucking the blood out of your system. Then now they exploit you now. You know, now you don't have blood. You, you, you need help. They, they keep, you know, and then they dominate the poor now they come back and they want to sell you the same blood that they, that, that they you know that they extracted from your body that they you know drew from your system that is what they are doing and uh kenya mm -mm. i just say i just feel like the this word that kewaso morara is using vampire diaries it is the truth but these, these people are just sucking blood out of our systems and Seems like we have no choice but to vote them out. So, guys, hope you like my video. Hope you share. Hope you subscribe. Above all, comment down below. Niambiungependa nyeke video gani next. And uh, all in all, see you on the next one.